we had a great kickoff press conference as everyone gets settled in here. We had a great kickoff press conference on Tuesday at Madison Square Garden. They were thrilled to announce over 15,000 tickets sold within the first week, uh, actually less than a week uh, of, uh, of announcing or being officially on sale. So they were excited about it, we're excited about it. I have to uh, give a lot of credit to Golden Boy, our co-promoter, uh, Camila Stefan, David the News Manager, and especially to David himself um, for accepting this fight. And this is the type of fight that fans respond to. Uh, two middleweight champions putting everything on the line, putting all their titles on the line. You see the belts here in front of us. No rematch crosses. It's This is a, a winner-take-all fight, and that's what the fans like to see. But there's really no loser in this fight with the amount of attention that both fighters have gotten in this promotion. Not just in New York, not just in Montreal where we were yesterday in David's hometown, and not uh, just here in L.A. This is uh, Gennady's hometown, for those who don't know. Gennady is officially a resident of Los Angeles now. This is uh, his hometown, and, and we're uh, happy to announce that. And you know, with the attendance here, you can see uh, this is really uh, a tremendous event. This is a great time for the middleweight division. You have the winner of this fight guaranteed to get the winner of Cotto Canelo. And when you have that type of matchup, that's uh, within a month of each other, that's uh, that's a really exciting time for the middleweight division. Uh, right now, I'd like to bring up, uh, on behalf of uh, HBO, this is uh, Gennady's first uh, pay-per-view fight on HBO. He's fought on HBO eight times. Tony, cor correct me, but I think uh, he's the fastest rising fighter that made his debut in North America to actually make the transition onto pay-per-view. David has been on HBO once. He just had a tremendous performance against uh, Hassan Andam, winning the, H the uh, IBF title. And this is the type of fight and the type of show that the fans are going to get value. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Brian the Wine Punch Valoria. Uh, this is, I think, the biggest stage right now in my career. It's far from fighting in Alameda swap meets and and uh, in clubs that nobody wants to go to. Uh, can't wait to fight in Madison Square Garden. October 17 is going to be a great night with uh, being on stage with Gennady and Lemieux and, and Roman Gonzalez. I thank you for taking the opportunity and giving me the opportunity for fighting, um, for, for me fighting you, uh, Roman. I know when it come October, we're gonna show a great, great fight for the fans. Um, I know I am. I hope you hope you're gonna bring it too. And uh, I just want to say thank you guys um, for all the support who's uh, who's been there since I fought in um, on the beach <laughs> in uh, in Hawaii and 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 and, and uh, on the beaches here in California. But I also want to thank Tom Loeffler of K2 Promotions for giving me the, uh, this opportunity. Um, the HBO pay-per-view executives. Um, I'm gonna show my best uh, on October. I'm gonna show what the wine punch is and what I've been training all my life for. But I want to thank Peter Nelson and Mark Taffet, um, my friends Kemi and uh, Mr. Honda from Japan, and, uh, and the WBC family. Thank you guys for giving me the opportunity. I'm training my butt off for the fight on October 17th. And I just want to show the fans a great fight. Everybody else on the panel is going to show, show their best. And then enjoy you guys selves. Aloha. Thank you. Muy buenas a todos. De medio de comunicación. Me siento bendecido por Dios de estar nuevamente aquí. Que HBO me está dando la oportunidad de pelear con un gran campeón como es Brian Viloria. Eh, gracias a Taken a Mushum, que lo considero como mi padre, a Jim Honda, a Kimi, y gracias también a cada uno de ustedes que están con nosotros porque ustedes dan conocer al público y, y vamos a hacer una excelente pelea el 18 de octubre. He wants to thank all the media 
everybody that came out here in support, the promotions, the taking promotions, uh, Mr. Honda, which is also like his father, he says, Akemi, Brian Deloria, which is a great champion, HBO for this opportunity, and everybody else that's here. Esta es la pelea de mi vida. Me ha estado preparando muy bien. Y pues, pelear nuevamente en una cartera como es Golovkin es una bendición. Que es un buen muchacho que mucha gente lo conoce aquí en los Estados Unidos. Para mí es una bendición estar peleando en esta misma cartera. He believes it's one of his best fights. He's uh, honored to be fighting once again in the undercard of Gennady. He's an excellent person, he's a great champion, and he feels overwhelmed to be here again. Bueno, invitamos a todo el público que no se pierdan esa gran pelea y les comento a mi familia, a Nicaragua y a toda la gente que vamos a hacer una muy buena pelea con Brian Miloy. Gracias. He says uh, he wants to thank everybody and for everybody to be to tune, tuned in on October 17th. He's going to give one of the best fights he wants in, order, in honor of his family and all his fans in his country, Nicaragua, and he's waiting to give the best fight ever. Thank you, Tom. Uh, this is exciting. <laughs> this is very exciting. Obviously, uh, it proves that when you make the fights that people want to see, the fans come out, the media comes out, and I think I could say, on behalf of everyone here, we're fans first. No matter what we do uh, in our daily lives, what our jobs are, we're fans first. And that's the reason why you guys are here. Because you guys know that this is the best fight. And the two best fighters fighting each other. And that's what, that's what boxing should be. It should be about the best fights. A um, couple of quick thank yous, uh, Tom. Thank you very much. Uh, Tom's been a great partner throughout this process. Um, we made the fight, what, like in three days, Tom? <laughs> Pretty much, we went over details, uh, went over it with Camille, our partner, and uh, we got the fight made. Uh, most importantly, because the fighters wanted to do it. Both guys wanted to fight each other. And that's what's great about boxing, is when you have the top guys wanting to take the real fights, the fights that you guys want to see, the fans, these fights are easy to make. They're very easy to make. Uh, I'm proud to say that uh, a sponsor for the show is going to be Corona, Corona, Corona Beer, Corona Extra. Uh, they've been a great supporter of Golden Boy Promotions. They've been a great supporter in boxing. So I want to thank them uh, for participating in this event. Uh, all the staff at K2, uh, thank you guys for all you do, all your hard work. Our staff at Golden Boy Promotions, you guys are working very hard. Thank you very much. For all your hard work, everything you guys do, you guys believing in us, believing in what we're doing, believing in the big fights, believing in Bernard Hopkins, believing in Oscar. Thank you guys, Golden Boy Promotions. Uh, obviously, uh, Madison Square Garden, the mecca of boxing. What? There's no, there's no better place to put this fight. Uh, as you know, I mean, they've come out. You know, we've already sold over 15,000 tickets. That's amazing. You know, in this day and age. Uh, where you can just you know stay at home and watch a fight. I mean, people want to come out and see. They know this is a big event, and they want to be a part of this. Thank them, HBO, always the greatest partners by far, the number one boxing network in the world. Uh, thank you guys very much, Tony. Uh, and uh, as uh, Tom talked about a little earlier, you know, there's still some tickets available. Um, tickets are very reasonably reasonably priced, uh, starting at fifty dollars. 100, 200, 300, and 500 dollars to watch a great fight ringside. Uh, they're going fast, so make sure you guys visit Ticketmaster.com or TheGarden.com, or you can go to the box office there at the Garden. But believe me, I I believe this is going to be a sellout. Uh, obviously, when you're talking about the middleweight division, uh, there's one person that you think of in our era as one of the greatest fighters in the middleweight division. And that's Bernard Hopkins. I'm glad that he's with Golden Boy Promotions. He's uh, a partner with Oscar. Uh, we love Bernard Hopkins, everything he does. This is the kind of fight that Bernard would have taken <laughs> when he was in his prime, when he was a champion. These are the fights that he took. And you guys all love him for that. So I want to bring him up to say a few words, Bernard Hopkins. Thank you, uh, Eric, for those true words. 
But, you know, I, first, I want to, again, until we get down to the home stretch, I'm going to continue to say it to Triple G and also to David Lemieux. Thanks. Thanks for boxing. Thanks for my legacy that I built off the middleweight division. And also, thanks for taking an opportunity to look at yourselves and say, I want to prove in this division, not only by perception, but by actually physically doing it and being undisputed. That was important to me. No, this is not about me. But it's about the history that I believe Triple G and also David Lemieux want to leave for their families and themselves and also written down in the DNA of boxing history. So to be here to look at the undisputed fight that's ready to take place come October 17th in Madison Square Garden on HBO pay-per-view. To me, it's a very, use the word surreal. Not only to witness it live, but actually to play a part in it as Golden Boy promotion. We set out, boldly said, boldly, write it down, you got a tape, and play it over. That we want to put the best fights on for the fans and for y'all to do your job to write about it. And what's not good, tasting to your mouth, buds, you write about that also. But we set out to do what we said, and we're going to continue to do it. And you know what? I got to respect K2. This is really the first time I've been around, not Abel Sanchez or Triple G and a few other people, but the promotion. The promotion of K2. Why? Because they echoed the call that we put out to all y'all the beginning of the year in some terrible times. This is another, another reason to understand that we're here for the long haul. We're closing this year out with the bang and boxing. The beginning of the book of reading is great, the middle of it, okay, you remember, but the ending is always something you're talking about. And so we want y'all to be talking about this ending of 2015 going into the next year. Yeah, we already planned for things to happen there, right now, today. So again, thank you, Triple G. Thank you, David Lemieux, for doing something that is rarely done in boxing. Unfortunately, a unification, one guy, one champion that we all recognize, whether he's on Golden Boy's side as a fighter or K2. So again, enjoy the fight. I'm not going to repeat what Eric Gomez repeated. Everybody's been doing their job. And I say, sit back, tell your family, tell everybody. If you haven't got a ticket, get one. But I'll tell you one thing, don't miss this fight. Because this fight, to me, has fight of the year, fight of the year written all over. And get your popcorn before the bell rings. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <clears throat> we've been partners now with Camille and I have Tiger Management for a while. Um, he's got a great staff, all his staff. They work very, very hard also, so I want to thank you. Thank you guys. Virginia, where are you at? Yeah, Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> She's very hard working, thank you. Um, you know, when you have a great partner like Camille Estefan who has the same vision as we do, as Oscar De La Hoya does, uh, it's simple to work together. And he has that, he shares that vision. And he's done many promotions in, in, in the Montreal area, uh, in Canada. And obviously, he lives for these big fights. And, and he looked, he wants these big fights for his fighters. So it was very simple to, to be able to work with him and to get this done. And there's other big fights we're working on right now. And I think we're gonna be successful in getting those done as well. Uh, so I wanna bring him up to say a few words. He's the manager for David Lemieux. And that's Camille and Stefan. Camille. First thing, I want to echo the thanks that you have heard to all the uh, partners that have made this happen without boring you and naming everybody again, but truly all due respect to all these people that are bringing together what I feel is a card that is really a lesson to boxing. 
to the people involved in boxing. Uh, you know, it takes two fighters that want to fight to, to make these fights happen. And I think both uh, Gennady and David uh, wanted to fight the best out there. When I was speaking to David about the fight uh, being close to being made, discussing it, what uh, resonated was the fact that he's a true champion. He said, Camille, you know, the word champion means something. It means somebody that will go forward towards objectives, towards challenges. I want to fight the best. This guy's the best out there. I want to beat him. That's a true champion. Champion has a meaning, that word. It's not about ducking anybody and only thinking of the business. We gotta think of the fans. So this is, as uh, was spoken yesterday, truly uh, a gift for the fans in the boxing world. Not only Gennady uh, uh, Golovkin and David Lemieux fighting on October 17th, but a fantastic undercard. I love watching Chocolatito fight, Brian Gloria. What an amazing uh, fight that is. And you'll have more news about the other clubs that we're working on that should be amazing. Um, I want to give you a little bit of perspective as far as what we're looking from our side, the Lemire side. Um, you know, we truly feel that October 17th uh, is the day where you'll have a perspective of change. And I know without any ill will or disrespect, uh, the WBC, Mr. Suleiman, mentioned the Triple G fight. This is not the Triple G fight. And I know it's not meant in any disrespect, it's mostly your subconscious. You know, you've seen Minali fight eight times on HBO, pay-per-view now. Tom saying uh, the fastest tries to the pay-per-view. Well, David Lemieux fought once on HBO and is now on the pay-per-view. And the reason why this is happening is because of both guys. So this is the golovkin Lemieux fight on October 18th. Your subconscious will change. We'll start talking about the Lemieux fights. Thank you very much, guys. For that to happen, for that to happen, <laughs> it takes it takes an engineer. Um, and we have an amazing engineer, one of the top in the business, great mind, great individual that's so devoted to his sport and his people. And you know, uh, Eric mentioned the mesh we have together with Golden Boy, we truly feel like a family. Uh, we really do. Um, we're fighting for each other. Well, Mark certainly fights for his fighters and engineers. What is to become a great performance from David Lemieux? I want to introduce to you Mark Ramsey. First of all, I would like to thank uh, everybody who made that, fa that fight happen. HBO, K2 Promotion, Golden Boy, Eyes of Tigers. It's, uh, it's on, uh, I'm so proud to be uh, part of a promotion who uh, generate such an interest from everybody. Because we give to the fans exactly what they want. You know, we, ne we never lie to David when we bring the name of, uh, of Golovkin on the table what the size of the challenge that he's gonna face. You need to truly understand your opponent to start to build up a strategy. If you, you just believe that you're gonna win because you're gonna win, you're already on the wrong track. You need to truly understand your opponent. And uh, we're facing a guy, an amazing athlete, an amazing boxer who's surrounded with one of the best trainer of the business. We know, we all know that, and I have the chance because I was an amateur coach of Canada for, from 2000 to 2004. Uh, I know uh, Mr. Golovkin since he's probably 17 years old. I was there in Bangkok when he won the World Amateur Championship. He, it was amazing performance. He beat in the same tournament Matvey Korobov, Andy Lee. He beat Lucian Bute, and uh, I think there was this Spain in final, right? Like, it was an amazing performance, but I was there also when he, he lost against Gardabek Gardabekov in the Olympic and uh, also in the test, Olympic test with, with the same Despeng. And I know that that can happen. This is something you never saw uh, as a professional. Uh, you, we, have, we all have the idea of the guys who nobody can beat. 
but he's a, he's a human being like everybody and he can beat and now we have eight weeks to make that happen as a professional. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think everybody's been thanked except for the fans. Thank you very much for all the support. Uh, this is the kind of matchup that begs for answers. Some serious questions are going to be asked and answered on October the 17th from both of these guys. I am looking forward to matching wits with Mark. Uh, I think we were discussing a little while ago that we have three fights in the next probably five months against each other. So this is the first of three. But uh, I anticipate a difficult fight. Uh, David is a tough competitor. He proved that in, uh, in his last fight and fight before that. Uh, he's a big puncher. Gennady is also. But I, I think that uh, the fans are going to win out on this, uh, on this October 17th night. Thank you very much. You know, when, uh, when we first made this fight, I had a bunch of people call me. They congratulated me, some people congratulated me. They said, hey, hey, congratulations, what a great fight. I'm gonna be there, we're gonna buy it. But one of the questions also was, why? Why are you guys doing that? <laughs> um, that was one of the questions, why? And I think that that's a very, very good question. You know, I, I see this fight kind of, it, it resembles uh, kind of like David and Goliath. You know, here you have David, the IBF champ. When he was, when he was, when he was, when he was young, you know, when he was young, he had a slingshot, right? I think he got in, in trouble with the cops one time when he was nine, ten years old, right? And then you have Triple G. Gennady, Golovkin, Goliath, right? <laughs> and, you know, back when David fought Goliath, you know, he was a monster, you know? Goliath was, you know, bully, beating up people in the village, I guess, right? The story goes. And David decided to fight him. Can you imagine when David told his friends, hey, I'm gonna fight that guy? His friends probably, hey, oh my God, what are you, what are you doing? Why are you going to fight that guy? He's a monster. He's big, he's strong, he's dangerous. But why did he do it? Why did David Lemieux decide to fight Gennady Golovkin? I'll tell you why. Because he thinks he can win. He thinks he can win when you go into any battle if you're going to go into any battle, you think, you're, you think you can win. You don't go into a battle if you think you're going to lose. <laughs> Who goes into a war thinking they're going to lose? Nobody. You already lost. But he thinks he can win. And that's what's great about this fight. That's what's great. And that's why hundreds and hundreds of years later, we're talking about David and Goliath. Because David took on the challenge and he won. This fight was made because David Lemieux wanted to take this fight. He said, I want to fight him. He's the best guy, I want to fight him. Why? He wants to be great. And greatness is, is achieved when you have a challenge like this and you overcome this challenge. And that's how you become great. And that's what David wants. He wants to be great. He doesn't want to be a puppet like other fighters that are told who they have to fight. He doesn't want to be a puppet. Right? Other fighters with influential managers that have to be told who to fight? No, he chose to fight Gennady Golovkin because he feels he can win and he wants to be great. And you gotta love that. And that's what's great about boxing. So I wanna bring him up, he's the IBF champion. You guys know him, he's going for all, these, all this jewelry up here because he feels he can win the fight. David Lemieux. Oh. Hello. <laughs> What's up, LA? Yes. Super happy to be here. Can you feel the excitement? <laughs> There's a lot of good energy here. Uh, good point uh, pointed out by Eric Gomez. Uh, yes, I do feel, I do know, uh, I believe I can win, but I don't just believe it. Uh, I understand what I need to do to win. I'm not a dreamer, I'm a realist. Uh, I'm not going in this fight because I believe I'm going to win or I hope I'm going to win. I'm going in this fight because I know I'm going to win. Why? Because things I've learned over the years, things I've experienced, 
things I've tasted inside and outside of boxing. I got to know myself in many, very well, and I got to know my abilities and God's gift that I was given, and to use it and polish it in the best possible way I could. And I'm here today because of my great determination in everything I've done over the years, and you know all the struggle I had to do. Some people have a have a different pattern. Some people have a more more difficult course to achieve, you know? Everybody's pattern is different, but everybody, everybody's roots are not the same. And with that, I've came a long way, and to be here, I'm extremely proud, and to be fighting, well, the Goliath of the division. <laughs> it's pretty funny, though. <laughs> Anyways, so it's, 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 it's an interesting fight, you know? I, I like Golovkin, he's a, he's a respectful guy, he's a, he's, good, he's a good champion, he has good values. But in the ring, there is, there is nobody likes nobody. We're two pit bulls unleashed and we're going for the neck. And we're going, we're going, we're gonna give the world what they wanna see, we're gonna give them without no restraint, no, no nothing. But we're two professionals and we know how to do it. And uh, if there's anybody that's up for the challenge to beat him, there's nobody else than me. So on October 17th, you will see something great. Yeah. Make sure, make sure you watch. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, David. That really, that really uh, emphasized the meaning of the fight. Eric, is that Goliath spelled with three G's? <laughs> well. Before I bring up uh, Goliath, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to, uh, you know, I stand up here and speak on behalf of uh, our team. Gennady fights in the ring on behalf of our team, uh, but there's a lot of people behind the scenes on our side that uh, these events wouldn't be possible. Uh, so I'd just like to quickly recognize a few people. First, the uh, Oleg Herman is uh, Gennady's manager. His, uh, <laughs> him and his brother Max have done a marvelous job. Uh, I actually, uh, they brought Gennady to me where we had the meeting and uh, we worked out the deal. It was, uh, you know, I promised, you know, I'll do my best to promote him in America and this is what we have three years later. So it's been a terrific team. Um, just quickly, uh, Erica St. Philip is my right-hand person. She's been with us since. She, she's been working with K2 since we did Across the Street here, Vitaly Klitschko against Corey Sanders 2004. That was our very first promotion. It was the heavyweight championship of the world. It's also for the WBC title. Perfect. And uh, so then uh, John Hornauer, um, Rondi Nicola, Melissa Mosco. There's a number of people, but I just wanted to recognize them. Um, the special weapon in Gennady's team is uh, his twin brother Max, which a lot of people don't really know the history of his family. But uh, Max was also a very outstanding amateur. And a lot of times they would meet in the finals or they would decide, okay, I'm gonna be in this tournament, you'd be in that tournament, because they were the best in their division. And so because, if you think about this, you put it in context, Max was about 15 minutes younger than Gennady, because Gennady is the older brother. He was the one that was chosen to go ahead and become a professional and his brother Max stayed home with his parents to take care of them in Kazakhstan. And that's really the story and the secret weapon behind and the inspiration behind uh, Gennady. So with that, I know everyone's said a lot, I'd like to uh, bring up the WBA, IBO, WBC interim champion Gennady Triple G Golovkin. Good afternoon, everybody. I feel at home. Oh, first of all, thank you so much. Look at this. It's four pounds. Thank you very much. HBO Purdue. Thank you so much. Madison Square Garden Fund. Thank you very much. Promotion. Gentlemen, this is a great deal. This is the biggest present for everybody. For fans, for TV. For us, of course. Thank you very much for the team. It's an amazing time for us. Yeah, right now, I'm very excited. I'm very happy. Right now I understand Bernard. More respect for Bernard. 
I understand right now situation, this situation. Pay-per-view, unification, great opponent. Oh, this is amazing time. You know, I don't know who win because I'm not God. Thank you, God. I promise. Amazing show because a lot of great champions, Chocolatito Gonzalez, and I've got a guy, and I've champions in this event. October 17, Madison Square Garden. I think great day for sport. Respect sport. Respect my sport. Respect boxing. Thank you, guys. You, everybody understand? Everybody look new story, new step to story. October 18. Please welcome to Madison Square Garden, October 17, or watch TV. Thank you very much.
To the back, to the back. <laughs> 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 